Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. Um, so today we're doing something that I've always wanted to do. I don't even care if you like it. I've always wanted to try this experiment, but I never had like the time or the, the, the reason for it. And today is that day that I'm gonna get into some Olaplex, okay? I mean, I use Olaplex on everybody and on my hair and I feel like it works. But then again, I don't really know. How do you really know if you've always been using it and you're not comparing side by side on your own hair? You know what I mean? Like, there's no really knowing unless I do this kind of test, what I'm gonna do today. So the test. I'm gonna take some dark hair, very dark, and I'm going to try and lighten it as light as possible. One using Olaplex with bleach and one using just plain old bleach. And we're gonna see which one lightens it more and just see which one has more or less damage going on. I'm prepared to have my mind blown if Olaplex does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. And we're gonna get into some of the science of Olaplex and what it actually is, because I think a lot of people are confused what it is. And even me, I've read about it a million times and I'm still kind of like, what is this real? We're gonna do some investigation work today, but first. I have extremely exciting news. Remember when I told you I have new Ex Mondo products coming out? A little more than a week from today, September 13th, I have these two new products coming out. You ready, you wanna see them? Do you wanna see what it is? Can you guess what it is? Oh, doesn't matter anyways, I'm gonna show you right now. Ah! I have shampoo and conditioner with my name on it. <laughs> I have been using this stuff in my hair for so long now, and I've just been waiting for you guys to be able to use it in your hair. This is her, this is them, this is she. They are so pretty. It is called Project X, and these are our everyday shampoo and conditioners. It's like the most fresh, clean, beautiful unisex scent. I named it Project X because it is our staple shampoo and conditioner. It is our necessity. It is the ground work. It is Project X. This is gonna be gentle enough for you to use every day if you're that kind of person that watches their hair every day. But the term everyday shampoo and conditioner really just means it is possible to use every day. It is not gonna be harsh on your hair. So Project X Everyday Shampoo and Conditioner has tons of high quality ingredients in it. It is a concoction of everything that I love, but some of the essentials that I added into this product when we were formulating was argan oil because I just am obsessed with argan oil. It just makes your hair so moisturized and so healthy. Also, we added blueberry and apple extracts, which are super high in antioxidants and promote healthy hair growth, and also stimulate the scalp for new hair growth. By the way, Project X Everyday Shampoo and Conditioner is vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and gluten-free. So we are just free. If you ever just wanna just be free, this is gonna be, this is for you. And each of these products will retail for $25, and it'll be available at xmonohair.com, of course, it'll be linked below, and launched on September 13th. But if that all wasn't exciting enough, I have one more extra, 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 and exciting thing to announce. I know I see all of you guys asking me to bring back Mondo makeovers and I hear you and I want to do it. I have just been finding the right time to do it and now is the time to do it. <laughs> so I'm doing a giveaway and not only do I wanna fly one of you out to New York City, put you in a hotel room, give you a Mondo makeover, head to toe, honey. Have your story heard by millions of people. I want to have the best time with you. And I'm gonna be picking one person to win all of that. Yeah, all of that. All you're gonna do is be amongst one of the first to order my baby's Project X Everyday Shampoo and Conditioner and post a picture on any or all social media platforms with the hashtag XMondo and hashtag Mondo Makeovers. And I will look through all of the applicants and pick one of you to win the makeover. And I'll be posting the winner on my Instagram on September 22nd and somebody is gonna get their life changed. Yeah. And if you really want to win, just make it clear that you want to win. Good luck to all of you if you enter. I hate picking winners for these things, but I'm going to try my best to pick somebody and just pick one person. Um, I can't believe I have my own shampoo conditioner. It's pretty crazy. All right. Sorry about that. Let's get on to what this video title is about, which is trying out Olaplex. Let's do it. A lot of information out of the way, a lot of information to go. Today, 
is gonna be an informational video. I have my phone here, and I'm gonna read off some, some claims here. Olaplex claims to reconnect broken disulfide sulfur bonds in the hair. That's a whole lot of information right in that one little tiny sentence. It's labeled as a bond multiplier. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. At this point, I just went on and on and on. And it was so boring to watch that I decided to remove it and put this voiceover in. Basically, what Olaplex does, from my understanding, is hair is held together by disulfite bonds. So there's a keratin, disulfite, and keratin. And the link in between is the disulfite bonds, as shown here in this graph. Interesting, right? So basically, what happens is when the disulfite bonds are broken, the Olaplex reforms a new synthetic disulfite bond. And that is the Brad Mondo explanation. I don't know how else to explain it. It's still confusing to me, but that's how it's gonna be today, all right? Take it or leave it, okay? Scientists, do not come for me. Thanks, and back to the video. And according to this website, there are no published independent scientific trials yet to prove that this actually works. The only thing is rave reviews by people. A lot of people really love it and really stand by it. So now we went over that boring stuff. Basically, it makes synthetic disulfide bonds. So hopefully that sort of makes sense. And now we just get to the fun part. Let's bleach the shit out of some hair and see what happens. Let me just say one thing. I am by no way associated with Olaplex. I do not work with Olaplex. I have never done a brand deal with Olaplex. I do not have a brand deal coming up with Olaplex. I am simply a hairstylist who happens to use Olaplex, just like a lot of us. I have no real reason to be in favor of Olaplex, and I'm gonna give you my honest, pure opinion about this product. And to mark off which one is gonna be Olaplex, the one with the blue tape is going to be the Olaplex side, and the one with the black tape will be the bleach without Olaplex side. And so today I'm gonna be using just simple old stuff you can find at Sally's or any kind of place to bleach your hair. Uh, this is the Wella powder liner. I actually like this stuff a lot. And then the Clairol Professional. 30 volume lightener. Honestly, this stuff is good too. But 30 volume because usually I pretty much always lighten hair with 30 volume. That's like my go-to uh, with Olaplex and with any lightening process. So that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna follow the recommended mixing ratio with our Olaplex number one bond multiplier system. I'm gonna mix the Olaplex in the red container and the regular bleach in the yellow container. Uh, and then we'll move on and talk more about this hair in front of me. So this is two ounces of lightener going into here. And we have two ounces of lightener in this one, which is the one without Olaplex. And it says add a 16th of an ounce after we mix it. So then I'm gonna do equal parts developer with the 30 volume to the lightning powder. Today, I'm going to be extremely precise with my measurements. That way we can get an accurate reading on if this actually works or not. Boom, that one's mixed. And then we're gonna mix the same thing over here. And then we're just gonna simply add the Olaplex to that side. And that is how you mix Olaplex. Boom. Okay, now let's do the finishing touches. Let's put 1 16th of an ounce of Olaplex in here. And that is the Olaplex added, and that is supposed to save your hair. That little tiny bit of Olaplex is gonna save your hair from breaking off, apparently. Quite skeptical. Sometimes using this, I'm like, how is that gonna save your hair? All right, let's start applying the lightener and let's start lifting. And let's just apply this. Let's just get a heavy amount on both of them and let's see what the hell happens. Yes, look at all that lightener go on there. Ooh! And I remind you guys, the blue is the Olaplex size. So this is the Olaplex that I'm applying right now on this side of the hair. Honestly, the more lightener you put on something, the less it tends to dry out and the more it tends to work. Some of you guys might be thinking like me, you need to use a higher developer when you're using Olaplex. Apparently not because they reformulated it so that you don't have to do that. I'm using 30 volume with both and it's supposed to lighten at the same rate. That's a heavy amount of bleach on there. Um, and we're gonna now set our timer for an hour and we'll have to check up on that in an hour. And now let's quickly apply to the other side without Olaplex and just let you know, this hair is pre-colored. It is not naturally this dark. It has been colored, which will be even more interesting to see how um, each lightener formula 
lifts the hair. And most people lightening their hair tend to have pre-colored hair. So I think this is more of a fair way of seeing if Olaplex causes less damage because most people that come and use Olaplex do have pre-lightened hair. So let's see what happens, shall we? Right off the bat though, I feel like this is doesn't glide on the hair for some reason as much. I feel like Olaplex kind of does like make it a little slippery and I'm having a hard time getting this in the hair, which is kind of interesting. Wow, I already see a lot of lightning going on over here, which is super cool. It looks like I'm making a pizza right here with some flour on the table, but it actually is lightener. Olaplex, no Olaplex. I'm gonna now incubate this. I'm gonna put it in some foils and then lay a piece of ceramic over it, start the timer for another hour for this side, and then I'll come back. Once they're washed out, I wanna see how far I can push each of these until they kind of break or get really gross. So let's try it out. Excuse me? You said we could if I, if I did be wrong. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting a Nintendo Switch today and all we want to do is go play the game. Are we going to go the Nintendo Switch now? <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's wait for this to process. All right. We're going to wait an hour and wash this out. Okay. That is round one complete. Already seeing some interesting things happening. Olaplex one didn't lighten as much. Already seeing this one's a, like a half a shade darker than the one without Olaplex. And also um, the Olaplex one definitely feels softer for some reason. I use Olaplex number two for 10 minutes after shampooing as directions indicated. And this one I just shampooed and conditioned. So I don't know. Let's see what happens after round two. This is when things I think are gonna get interesting when it starts getting really light and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna mix everything up again the same way I did before, following the directions. Let's apply more bleach. Let's go. And let's apply that. Olaplex first. Again, very easy to apply like last time. This is again, you guys, the one with Olaplex. the regular bleach. Again, it's a lot drier feeling, doesn't slip as much. And I'm gonna cover those exactly like I did last time and wait an hour, rinse it out, do the treatment on the whole Olaplex one, shampoo conditioner the one without Olaplex, blow dry it and come back and probably do a third round of bleach. I'll see you then. So as you can see, we're getting a bit lighter. It's a slow process. We're gonna do it one more time. This time, we're gonna use 40 volume because I just wanna kick up the speed here, do something a little more risque. Again, the blue side is Olaplex, the black side is not. Another hour on the clock with more bleach. Um, and hopefully this time it'll really bump these up to like white. Some interesting things going on here though. I definitely noticed some things going on. We'll go over in a few. See you in an hour. Ooh, wow. That's me trying to wake up. It's been many hours. Ah, finally, I think I came to the conclusion. This is interesting. Okay, this is where we started. Very, very dark hair. Battle level four, super silky soft. Oof, just like, let's go over the side we didn't use Olaplex on first and just compare the two. As you can see, it got a whole lot lighter. And I, by the way, I, I chopped it off a little bit before I started. It got a lot lighter. It is not quite my color, but it is about a level 9, 10. No, it's definitely level 9. It's a level 9 in real life. It looks a little bit brighter on camera. It 
changed a lot after three rounds of lightener for an hour a piece, two rounds of 30 volume lightener, and one round of 40 volume lightener, and it has changed a lot. That's pretty crazy how different it is. I mean, it's like an Oreo cookie right there. Like, oh, yum. Let's go based off of feel for a second. It feels fine. Honestly, it's almost quite soft. I would say that there was a lot of shedding going on on my legs while I was blow drying it. It was kind of all over me, but girl, this is strong. Like this is still intact and it feels really good. This is really nice hair. I'm quite impressed with the lightning it did. It's very consistent. It's very nice, but let's go over the Olaplex side now. And I'll tell you guys why I have these in beside me in a second. Here is the Olaplex side. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison as well as close-ups. Again, it got really, really light. It looks quite consistent besides the fact that I missed a few spots up here, but that's okay. And again, it's like an Oreo. Like, wow, that got a lot, lot lighter. Now, based on feel, it's soft. You might not be able to tell the difference. Again, Olaplex on this side, not Olaplex on this side, just regular lightener. No Olaplex definitely got like the tiniest bit lighter than with the Olaplex. Now I was doing research on Olaplex's website. It basically just says you might have to change your timing when you're lightening. So they don't really say you need to use a higher developer or not. Based off of that, I would say the one without Olaplex definitely got lighter. And based on feel, I would never be able to tell a difference between the two. And that's the T, sis. I want to love Olaplex, and it's not that I don't. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> so here are some close-ups of the brush I used to blow dry the Olaplex side. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of hair loss. I mean, that's to be expected though when you're lightening hair. I don't, I would never expect there to be no hair loss. And then here is the brush I used to the side with no Olaplex. It does appear to have quite a bit more hair. This is kind of the part where I'm like, hmm, maybe Olaplex really is doing its thing. It's just a little bit hard to tell sometimes. And every time I blow dried the extension pieces, I clean the brush out. This is just from the last round of round brushing and it has quite a bit more hair than the Olaplex side does. I wish that I could go actually go in with a high def microscope and go in here and look at the disulfide bonds and just see what's going on. But I, I'm not a scientist, so I can't really do that. All I can do is go based off feel um, and neither of them feel compromised. Both of them lightened nicely. One of them lightened a little bit more than the other. Ah, what is my conclusion? I would keep using Olaplex with my lightener because I just feel safer. It makes me feel better, especially with my hair. If we had that extra safety there, why not use it? It is not making it any worse. It is not doing any damage, but is it necessary? I, I, I don't know. This is cool. This is science. This is hair coloring. So did it reform the disulfide bonds between the keratin bonds? We may never know. Did it do its job? I guess. Will I keep using it? I will. And that is all I have for you today. <laughs> oh no. I need to stop doing that. Ooh! And again, if you would like to enter to possibly get a Mondo makeover, please do so. It's gonna be quite the time. Let me tell you that much. Post your pictures, hashtag xmondo, hashtag mondo makeovers, and I'll be picking that winner on September 22nd, so look out for that on my Instagram. And that is all. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at brownmondonyc, and also on Twitter. And follow my brand xmondo hair on Instagram and Twitter also. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time.